Welcome to Lake Ontario National Marine Sanctuary. NOAA designated a National Marine Sanctuary in eastern Lake Ontario. The sanctuary is a catalyst for research and learning, and even experiencing firsthand the rich history and compelling stories of its many shipwrecks and underwater cultural sites, including the historic schooner St. Peter. Built in 1873, the three-masted wooden schooner was 135 feet long. Westbound for Toledo with 600 tons of coal in October 1898, the ship found itself at the mercy of an early winter blizzard. When the captain realized the ship couldn't make headway into the gale, he turned back to the east to run with the wind. They battled 20-foot seas, 70-mile-per-hour winds, and freezing sleep for 12 long hours in the dark. Early the next morning, with a rescue boat approaching, the ship rolled to one side, took on water, and sank just west of Sotus Bay. The crew and the captain's wife perished. Captain Griffin, unconscious but clinging to a spar, was rescued by surfmen of the U.S. Life Saving Service. Discovered in 1971, St. Peter was found in 117 feet of water, resting upright with its deck and lower hull intact. Look closely. Do you see the NOAA diver taking pictures of the shipwreck? The hundreds of images this diver's taking will be combined to create a precise 3D model of the wreck. Called photogrammetry, this technique helps scientists record and study archaeological sites long after their dives and allows others to feel like they've been there too. These models bring underwater historical sites back to the surface, allowing researchers, historians, educators, and the public to learn from and enjoy our national heritage. Great Lakes Schooner St. Peter, one of many maritime heritage relics that quietly beckon to future generations to remember their sacrifices in Lake Ontario National Marine Sanctuary. Thank you.